Welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations, with me, Creative Katie, Karen Birchall. Follow me on Instagram, www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share all my social media with your creative friends. Today we have Index Card a Day, ICAD number 23. It's called, Happiness is Not by Chance. In it, you will see me collage color. That's mixed media technique tag number 17. I'll put a link to that video. Links to products can be found in the description box as always. So I've had bits of paper on my desk as I've been doing the Index Carter Day Challenge. And we have these little bits here. So I decided that I'm just going to use that to collage my background color. I've added some um, music sheets in the back that have are aged to perfection. It has golden color. And here's where I keep all my little bits. And when I say little bits, I mean little bits. Look at the little pieces that I'm keeping. You never know. Some of these are colored papers from leftover paint. Some of these are gel prints. And even a gel print that you don't think really works can make a wonderful addition to a collaged background. So I've just ripped off all the hard edges or straight edges because I don't I like the look of the ripped ones. And I'm just going to glue this down. Now when I'm collaging for background color, I want different shapes, different textures, and I'm going to layer them on. If you rip up, you get one kind of rip. If you rip downwards, you get a different kind of rip. Play with it and see what you like. So here I'm just using matte medium gel formulation and to adhere down to the card. You can use Mod Podge, and sometimes I do use Mod Podge for this process. I'm just looking at that tiny little bit. Occasionally I go through my file folders and I do get rid of some of the tinier bits. But that file folder system that I have really works for keeping these tiny bits together. I'll put a link to that video as well. So I'm just filling this in. Now you can fill in every part of this and leave no white. I'm going to end up leaving some white on here. I like different textures, different thicknesses of paper. Some of this is on deli paper. Some of this is on um, copy paper. Some of it's even thicker than copy paper. It just, whatever's available. They all collage just a little bit different and give a different effect. So not only do you have the color here, which is going to start off my color scheme, which works well for breaking the blank page, it also gives some amazing texture as you layer these little bits and pieces. So once this is completely dry, I will cut around the edges. And here what I'm doing is just applying a wash of color. Now I'm going, I want more of this pink, so I'm adding, I've watered down the, the acrylic paint, and I'm just adding it in there. My goal is not to cover up everything that I've put down below, but you could end up doing that as well. Just adding a little bit blue, I'm mixing. And I realized that, you know, I've pretty much stayed on a very similar color scheme for the last four iCADs, but that's okay. Sometimes that's fine. You get on a roll and you play. With the same technique, the same color scheme, or uh, the same overall theme. Yeah. 
And this is just a process of putting on paint and putting off paint. Below I've used um, magenta, and then on top I, I'm using, I think, Prussian blue, and this is some aqua. And I'm just mixing it and take till I get a color and a tone that I like. But look at that lovely texture that you get. And you can see some of the colors are peeking through from the collaged sheets. But if you like the color that you've collaged, you can just cover it all, don't leave any white space, and then skip this whole step. I wanted to keep men most of these in real time. However, there is construction going on across from my house, and the noise that they were making today just made it impossible to do um, a real time video. So now I decided I have all this paint on the side. I'm going to splatter with some of the pink. And I think I splatter with the aqua as well. Here I'm just using up some of the leftover paints. These are going to make lovely collage sheets that will be filed in my file folders. Now remember, this is just a background. When you splatter, the paint tends to be a little bit wetter. It takes a little bit longer to dry. And here I go splattering with the aqua. This light aqua and magenta, when you mix them together, make a lovely purple, which is what you see here. And I'm splattering with my fan brush. Do you have any ideas of what I can do for my last seven eye cats? You've got a theme or color scheme, something you want to see me doing or technique? Leave it in the descri description box below. Leave it in the comment section, sorry, and I will get back. So I've grabbed my The Crafters Workshop Light and Fluffy Modeling Paste and this Dina Wakely, uh, this is also Grunge Heart video. This is... Um, a crafters workshop stencil as well and I'll put a link to those products. I'm just taping down my stencil. I want to do this one grunge heart on the one side and then I'm going to do a grunge heart on the other side. This light fluffy modeling paste um, dries rather quickly. This has a center part in it, and you can see I put some tape in there just to hold it down. And I, I'm trying, I'm doing that so that I prevent it from squishing under. Don't be afraid to tape things down to make it easier for yourself. So one grunge heart put on. And I really like the contrast of the white on this very colorful background. I'm just cleaning up the edges a little bit. So after giving that a dry, I'm going to put this other grunge heart in. And I'm just kind of getting a feel of where I might be putting my sentiment. And I've cut out the sentiment, happiness is not by choice, or by, it's not by chance, but by choice. And I think if I put it in the middle, I will be able to get both of these grunge hearts on here. And the font that I'm using here is Curls MT. And I'm not sure if it came with the word program or I downloaded it from defont.com. I have a mixed media technique tag video, I think it's number 14 or 15, that 
walks you through step by step how to get those free fonts from defont.com and how to install them into your Word program. I'm just doing a quick measurement, making sure that I get these somewhat lined up. Usually I'm pretty good at eyeballing it, but you can always measure. And I'm putting the modeling paste on pretty thickly because I want to get that raised area. I'm really liking the look of that. Suddenly it just makes the, the background seem more colorful, brighter, bolder somehow. So I'm putting the stencil back on and I'm going to apply a coat of shimmery goodness. This is also from Crafters Workshop. It's kind of a pearlized medium. I just want this to stay white but kind of have a little bit of shimmer to it. And this product does that. I've also stenciled with it instead of using modeling paste. If I wanted to, I could have colored my modeling paste um, a dark blue or a dark pink um, just by mixing the acrylic paint into so I've adhered the sentiment after edging it with some archival ink and I'm putting it down with matte gel medium again. And off camera, I also splattered it with gold using my fan brush, just like you saw me splatter with the aqua and the magenta. I also edged the around the card with the a makeup sponge and the archival ink. When I get down to the gel medium, at the bottom of the gel medium, I often spray it and that just softens it up and I can use every little last bit of it. So this brings us to the end of this iCAD. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or a suggestion below. See you next time.